So let's have a look at these Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. Got these ones included for free with my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. So not something I probably would have bought else, but it got me a little bit curious to try these ones out here. Definitely a little bit different uh, design there. Also kind of known as the beans because yeah, they have a little bit of a shape like a bean there. These are the Mystic Black version. You can get them in various colors. I believe you can also get them in a more black version or a blacker version there. And of course on the front here, you can kind of see the beans or the bots live. Samsung Galaxy bots live there on the side and the other side there, nothing really. And on the bottom side there, you find some of the information. So it got an ergonomic fit, six to 21 hours of battery life. There's triple microphone. So you do also have some kind of anti-noise cancellation inside these, but I don't believe it works all that well. So active noise cancellation, but these are not something that sticks inside your ears. They kind of just rest in your ear canal. So I'm not really sure how effective that noise cancellation would actually be. And sound by HKG, and of course they are Bluetooth. So let's just get into this box here and see what we actually get. I guess I kind of just flush this one out because I don't suspect they will be on the market for that much longer. I'm not really sure if they actually in production anymore but yeah like i said i got it for free so i can't really complain looking inside the lid there you have a little bit of cardboard box there or a cardboard holder there samsung branding let's just see what's inside here to begin with and surprise surprise we do have a little bit of a paper paperwork so we have a quick start guide we'll get you quickly started just take you through all of the different points of the bots live there so you can see where the contact points is and touch sensitive sensor and speaker is and how to charge it up and of course how to put them back inside your case so yeah very quick start instructions there oh there's actually also some of course tapping so single touch you play pause your music double tap play next trap track triple tr triple touch play previous track touch and hold to activate uh, activate a present feature or the noise cancellation and of course decline the call as well i don't really find that too work that reliably on my game Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro because it's very hard to actually touch two times on that little touch area at least on those headphones I believe this is a little bit bigger touch area maybe but still I would have preferred a physical button but that's just me and I also kind of go over how it actually has to sit inside your ear so like have to rest inside your ear there of course you shouldn't stick it inside your ear canal like you see here but just let's let it rest inside your ear and other than that you get a little bit of a warranty card and underneath here you of course have the Gal galaxy bots live in this nice black very high gloss plastic so you can see already there a uh, fingerprints on there not really too big of a fan of that kind of plastic else that's pretty much you get in the box there so let's like have a look at the accessories first inside this smaller cardboard box here of course you do get a charging cable with a USB type A plug in one end and a USB type C plug in the other end. You do not get any charging brick, but that's pretty common nowadays with accessories and phones, at least high end phones. You do also get a little bit extra rubber tips there, I believe maybe for different sizing like these two here. So yeah, you can kind of experiment a little bit with whatever suits your ear best. And let's bring the main character into show here. So glossy box, not a big fan of that. I definitely do prefer like the more matte black box on the Galaxy Buds Pro. Just compare it a little bit here to my Galaxy Buds Pro on the right. The box itself seems to be pretty identical in terms of size, but this design is just so much better in my opinion, because as you can see here, fingerprint sensor, fingerprint sensor, excuse me, just fingerprints, <laughs> will just get stuck to this one here so easily. The same for the old Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus I have still here. You can see this glossy case there is just scratch up and fingerprint and all kind of smudge is just yeah, stuck on there and I just wiped it up actually off actually with a microfiber cloth so you can never really get it uh, like new again but anyways it's fine enough but just not my most favorable design aesthetic there on the back side we do of course have a USB type C plug for charging but you can also wireless charge on the bottom there as well just cover my serial number and other than that there's not really anything around the box there is a little LED here in the front. Let's just try and open it up and see if there's actually some power on there. Yeah, you can see the little LED is turning on. And there should also be an LED inside here that just kind of gives you the state of the battery in the bots themselves or the beans. So I guess it's lighting red now. 
probably because it needs some charging. It is supposed to be black, but it is definitely shining very silver to me. But I def it's probably yeah because of the lighting. Let's just try and take one bean out or one bot out here. And this kind of have the same issue there with like this high gloss plastic. So it definitely will get a lot of fingerprints. Kind of like the design. Not really sure something I will go out in public with though. Prefer like something a little more muted. But these ones you can see here, Samsung Galaxy Bots Pro. This is just the original Bot Pro black model. Uh, you can see they also have a little bit of a shine to them. As well as of course these Galaxy Bots Plus here. Also a little bit of a shiny surface. So yeah, that's kind of the design aesthetics Samsung is going for at least. Up until this point, I believe the Galaxy Buds Pro 2 is a matte finish. But anyways, you do have some microphones. Is this a little air vent or whatever? And here underneath is actually where you will hear your mu music from. A little bit of a proximity sensor there. Maybe another air vent. And these are just for the charging. And I believe this is where you also can use the two other rubber thingies that's included. If you want something a little more rounded here for your type of ear canal, you can kind of throw this in instead. I'm not really sure what will suit me best, but of course you have to try it out. And you can see there's an R on there because this is the right one. And I suspect there is a L on the left one there. And yeah, they look identical. Seem to have exactly the same sensors on the outside as well. Look identical there. So I don't really think they look bad at all. Kind of like this design and yeah, if I got it included for free, I can't really complain. Underneath here, the charging case, of course, we have those poker pins there that will kind of point into those two areas here on the headphones or the beans. And this is the way they are charging and the lid will kind of hold them a little bit in place. So it will get good contact here with the charging poker pins. And you have L and R there so you can know which bean goes where or bot goes where and nothing really in the lid there. So yeah, not a bad design at all. And actually you get a little bit better grip because this is some high gloss plastic. That's always been a little bit annoying to me with the matte texture on this here. It can be a little bit slippery. So I definitely dropped this case a few times, as you can see right there. <laughs> I don't really understand why Samsung couldn't really design a little bit better so you can get actually a more decent grip. Maybe just have a little bit bigger like hole in here so you can actually grab onto something. It is very hard to actually get something in that little slot there to open it up so yeah definitely feel like i have a little bit better grip because this is a gloss plastic so it kind of sticks a little bit to the fingers and also the magnets is not as hard to open actually i feel like the galaxy bot pro is very hard to open like the lid but yeah you kind of get used to it but anyways let's try and actually set it up and you kind of need the samsung galaxy wears app if you want to like update firmware and so on and so on, let's just see if it actually finds these bots here. It should just pop up here actually, but find my Watch 5 Pro. I didn't think it was in pairing mode actually. Nah, but it should just pop up automatically when you open the lid. You should get a little prompt here. Let me just charge these up and let's, let's then try and connect it afterwards because it seems like there's no battery, at least the bots here. You can see it just lights red. So let me just charge them up and see if we can uh, actually get them working. So they have been charging now for around 40 minutes. Let's actually see if we can get them to pair up this time around here. So open the case. You can also see now the LED here is green and right out of the bat there it just popped up, ready to connect. So let's of course connect it up to my S22 here. And of course there is a piece of software I need to download. It, that's the Galaxy Wear app and we kind of had to agree to some stuff here or let it get access to various stuff here on my phone. And we're taking through a little bit of a guide here. Of course, it's my local language, but this is just a guide that will tell you how you actually are mounting these in your ear. So you're kind of sticking them a little bit inside your ear canal there, but let them then rest outside of your ear. So it's definitely a little bit different. Let's just hit continue there. So we are ready. So we're inside the app there, and you can see it actually matches the color of the bots themselves. So we are at 87% for the box, at the battery charge there, and 100% for the two uh, bots live. And of course, there is a software update ready. So I will just install this one here. This one will give a 360 sound, and this function is only available with Galaxy smartphones with One UI 3.1 or higher. And there's also some stability and system improvements there so let's just update it it does take a little bit of time 
not so much in the download stage there, but actually transferring to the, the bus there. Of course, it is transferring using Bluetooth. So you can see there, it takes a long time to actually transfer it. So let's just skip this part and get back once the update here is finished. So the update finally finished. Didn't really take too long once the file was transferred to the headphones. And we can also use like smart things to find these headphones. So if you lose them, that's kind of a nice feature. I'll enable that. Other than that, we don't have too many features or settings here within the app. You can enable active noise cancellation. You can set what kind of feature you should have enabled when you're holding either the left or the right But or you can block all kind of touch if that's something you find annoying. Accidentally turning up or down or pressing play and pause when you're taking in and out the bots, which can be a little bit annoying. So you can disable touch altogether. And you have quite a few settings here. So of course you have equalizer. You can get your messages re read out loud. You can also use Bixby. You have this easy connection of the headphones. You of course get called through your ears. You have that 360 sound there, which is not something I personally am that interested in, but that's something you can of course enable. You also have the lab there if you want to have game mode. So if you're experiencing audio that's out of sync when you're actually gaming, you can enable this one here and it should be a little bit better in terms of actually audio, audio lag and so on and so on. You can also reset them and you can check for software updates, which is kind of nice that you can go and check that manually. AirPods, for instance, you cannot go check manually. You can just kind of charge them up and hope they will <laughs> update. And you can see the software as of this video. This is the latest and greatest. You can also get battery information if you want to see if they have the full capacity. And then, of course, you have Find My Earbuds and you can also have several tips. And if you have more devices, you can kind of switch between them there. So let's try to actually mount them inside my ear. And I just dropped one of them trying to actually set it inside my ear. Uh, it's a little bit slippery. So connected to my ear actually feels quite okay. So they actually fit quite nice inside my ear, as you can see there. And it's actually blocking out more sound than I would actually have anticipated. But you can see it's kind of resting inside my ear. And the end of the headphone there, or the butt, is actually sticking a little bit inside my ear canal. So it doesn't feel all that bad. So first off, let's just shake my head here, see if they'll fall out. So no, definitely not. Feel very stable inside my head. Let's just play one playlist here I have on YouTube Music. Crank the volume up here. Okay, kind of surprised me a little bit in terms of sound quality coming from these uh, headphones here. A bot rather sounds quite good. We get decent low frequency. And actually, they are isolating quite a lot of the surrounding noise. A little bit impressed by that, actually. I didn't really think there would be this noise cancelling but you know not really the best out there and it is heavily dependent on the shape of your ear canal because you can't really change out any of the like tips here like you can on regular like in-ear style headphones where you of course have this rubber tip you can have in different sizes that you can kind of switch out not something you can do here so you kind of just reliant on this one sizing here but for me for my ears feels pretty comfortable and actually quite easy to take in and out. And of course, if you take them out of your ear, they will automatically pause music. And you can actually also have music just playing from one of them. So if you only remove one and you still wanna hear some music, it's kind of nice. Or even if you just wanna use one for call, you can always have one charged here inside the case. Just have one in your ear and of course use music in a call and just swip, uh, swap it out whenever the battery needs charging. And you can see kind of the LED there turns red again because they are charging and the LED here in the front is now green. I believe it was just white before. So you can also see that the status of the battery in the case there is a lot better than when we uh, received them. So yeah, all in all, kind of impressed by the sound quality. Noise cancellation, of course, not really the best in a pair of headphones like these. It's not really the best in the Pro, the original Pro either, but it is definitely better than nothing. And considering I got them for free, I'm kind of glad that I actually tried them out it's not something I would buy myself, but now that I had them, have them, I'm pretty sure I will actually use them from time to time because they were not really that bad that I would have uh, anticipated. Just, you know, looking at the design and seeing some reviews online, I think they're fine enough. If I get them at a good deal, definitely go and pick them up. If this type of headphones is something that you are interested in trying out, else you can also get like the Galaxy Buds Plus there very cheaply, got very good battery life and I think these are definitely a safe buy because they are more like a standard in-ear type. And you can actually also get like the Galaxy Buds 
Pro, the original one here, cheaper now because the second generation is out now, which is vastly improved, but these I believe still is very good. Nice sound quality and fits in my ear. Very nice, so I can go running with them without any issues. I think I'll try to run with these today and see how well they'll actually fit inside my ear, but there's no weather sealing on these at all. So if you're a heavy sweater like me, probably not something you should do every day or yeah, if it's raining and so on, don't bring these along. This is uh, of course a little bit of a downside. Uh, compared to like the Pro, which have some kind of weather sealing, so it can handle a little bit of sweat and so on. These ones here just are not really made for that type of use case. But that's pretty much it for this video here in late 2022. Just looking at the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live or Samsung Galaxy Being. Definitely recommend them if you could get them at a good deal or if you can get them free included with some accessories like I did. Definitely a nice pair of headphones to have in my arsenal, but there's just so many great headphones out there on the market. So unless you really like this design, fit in your ear and so on, and you can get them at a good deal, I think there is definitely other headphones to consider. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope to see you again in a future one. Until then, take care.